All right, what's going on? Impromptu YouTube vid. This mod I got in the pump is hot as S-H-I-T, and I don't have any sugar today. So I've been told the Dawn dish soap will kill a hopper. So we're gonna give this a little whirl. I'll cycle this around, juice it up. We'll head to the washout area, which is half an hour away, and we'll see what it looks like then. I know Jeff's been using this stuff for, uh, for priming lately. I promise you, I bought it first. Jeff beat me to it. I've had this in the pump for two months, three months actually. So I'm gonna use it for something different because Jeff already has the rights to priming with it. So here we go. Let's add a little water into the mix here too. Mix that around pretty good. I'm seeing a little, a little bit of bubbling there, definitely creating some air. So we'll uh, we'll suck our ball back here and we'll travel to the washout area, throw this down and see uh, see what it looks like. Fingers crossed that it works because this stuff is hot as you know what. There it goes. Works for me. Yep, we happy. So Jimmy, today's experiment is Dawn dish soap to kill hot concrete. Dish soap? Yeah, have you ever heard that one? Guys say they put dish soap in the hopper and it kills it. So I didn't have any recover. We'll find out when I get to the washout area. Jimmy, can you verify this concrete is super hot? It's a hot concrete. Hot concrete. No, it is. It is hot. Tough, tough mix. Tough mix. Hot. Yeah, it's tough mix. It's hot. It is hot. Okay, so I just thought of something here. I know what's going to happen. Somebody's going to say the Dawn dish soap didn't work if it doesn't work because you're supposed to put it and mix it with water and suds it up and foam it up because the foam is going to be what kills the concrete. So this is actually going to be good. I can research it. Right? We're killing the hopper with Dawn dish soap, Jimmy. With what? Dawn dish soap. Apparently it kills the hopper. Uh, yeah. You want to throw it back in there? Sure. Yep. So we're going to put some Dawn dish soap in the bucket. We'll suds it up. We'll recirculate the suds through the hopper. It'll be a good test because everything where the agitator paddle is and around the S-tube, that'll be the nice suds up stuff. And around the back of the hopper, that'll probably not mix in that well because I don't have a flexible hose to knock it in. And I don't really want to here. I get a uh, two tests in one. So put the rest of this bottle in the bucket. And we'll add some water to make some suds. It suds this thing up. There we go. Doing the dishes. I 
actually think I actually I think yeah, I, I think sudsing it up in the bucket beforehand was key. That was the key. Oh yeah, you can see it just frothing right up. Yeah, I think you have to, you have to do the suds. So we'll mix this around a bit. They got some more mud, extra mud from the site they're gonna throw in. That's it. That's it. Okay. Let that mix around real good and uh, head to the ready mix plant. Whole bottle. It's an early experiment, so I went whole bottle. Full bottle. Beautiful. All right, so we'll go wash out. Like I said, I expect the stuff around the agitator where the S tube is to be dead and the stuff in the back corners where we didn't get the suds really mixed in as well. We'll see if we get any build up there. But yeah, I think, uh, see all the air bubbles now? I think it definitely has to be mixed in with water. So it's probably gonna be a million guys in the comments that use this all the time and they were probably yelling at the screen when I was just putting the liquid straight into the hopper. Yeah, look at all that, look at all that air. That's the key, I think. Here we go, 20 minutes later. And then I saw that guy later on in the fucking Yeah, car she's the going. Size, hot, right, Jimmy? But not manageable, but hot? Manageable, yeah. Yeah. It's getting some body to it. I just soaked the heck out of it. We'll see what Don does for us. I heard of this soap for priming. Yeah, I know. My buddy in Texas has been using it for priming. He's quite enjoying it, actually. Is that joke I used to do for priming, too? Uh, maybe. Maybe. All kinds of weird things. Yeah, I think so. Well, here we are 40 minutes later the washout area. Let's see what we got in here. Agitator is probably not going to spin just from segregation. Well, well, maybe we'll get it going. Throw her in reverse here, try and break her free. Oh wow. Well, oh, this stuff's just slop. Wow. Well, that, that seemed to work a charm. Let's uh, knock our elbow down here and try and pump some out and forward. Kick this out of the way. Okay, let's see what we got. all the bubbles but I just killed that stuff okay let's crack the hopper door and see how it is around the edges there the stuff that didn't have water mixed in with it wasn't already sudsed up throw in reverse here chuck the vibrator on Stuff's pretty toast too. Let's take the hose to it, see what it does. 40 to that. Just look at this concrete. So you can feel the heat and it's super hot, but it just does not set. It absolutely kills it. I would say the stuff that I didn't get the uh, 
the pre-mixed water and Dawn soap mixed in with around the back here. It's still pretty dead. It's a little bit of buildup, but that's probably from earlier in the day too. There wasn't any dirt on site today, which is why I got that little little bit right there to bang out. So yeah, man oh man, that definitely works. The Dawn dish soap definitely, 100%, definitely kills the hopper, 100%. Look, look at this stuff. It was hot as heck on site. I traveled 40 minutes. Look at that. Amazing. That, my friends, is a win. I will be using this in the future. Now, what I'll do in the future, I'm curious to see if I just use a little bit of that bottle and mix it in with the water beforehand. I don't think I'll need to waste an entire bottle of soap like that. So I'll play around with that a little bit. But yes, this is definitely hot concrete if you want to kill it kill it for when you're heading to your washout the dawn dish soap definitely 100% does it all right so just to summarize dawn dish soap or just dish detergent in general for killing hot mud in the hopper and traveling absolutely awesome um, the thing that I like best about it is it doesn't segregate the concrete like uh, excessive amounts of water or even using sugar or a lot of other retardant products does. Uh, so when you get to the washout area, uh, it's almost, uh, the concrete's almost in like a uh, half melted milkshake type of state, if that makes any sense. So way easier to wash out, way easier to get the valve moving, way easier to get the agitator spinning again. Uh, just an easier washout. Absolutely 100% I'm sold on this. Um, I've been hearing about this for years. Guys have been doing it for years, for decades. And uh, this is the first time I ever tried it. I wish I'd, uh, I'd come on to this and given it a try sooner. Uh, but definitely will be something I'm going to utilize moving forward. Uh, dish soap for the win. Two thumbs up, 100%. Give it a try. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Keep on pumping.